Afternoon everybody, a beautiful Friday afternoon. Gonna be very, very quick, short and sweet. It is Lee Sobot horse racing fancy of the weekend. I wanted to add a little bit of sad bits and pieces is what I'm gonna bring into the equation today. Um, I'll contact a little bit later on. First and foremost, we're in my manor, in my house as you know, and uh, this is Webby Sports Roundup. 30 years, three pubs, it is what it is. Right, see this? Webby Sports Roundup. There's my bits, pieces, ready for next Wednesday for the charity, for the sponsored charity walk. And I'm looking forward to it, I really am. We're going to have, excuse me, we're going to have probably 50 plus, and there's more people coming on. Donations is coming through the roof, it's fantastic. And my heart goes out to you all. Right, first and foremost, um, there's a couple of shout outs, but let me just get the first one over and done with. It's my beautiful daughter, Carrie Rachel Webb, back on. She watches the show with Jack, her old man, and said, Dad, do a cracking job. Um, two subscribers, which is one of her very, very good friends, Susie, and her partner, Ty. Massive gooner, big Arsenal fan. Ty, what's happening with Arsenal? You know, my Simon, my number three mate. He, we had a little vlog yesterday. He wanted the season to stop and start again because you're just not good enough. You're just not good enough. If Odegaard's not there, you, you, you know, you're just batting above your waist at the moment, aren't you, Arsenal? Uh, he's not happy, and obviously you're not happy. See what happens at Chelsea, 4.30 kickoff, Stamford Bridge on Sunday. So big shout out to you, Susie, and a big shout out to you, Ty. All the love you too. Right. This is going to be a little bit difficult, this one. Very, very quick. Uh, you know I raised a lot of money for cancer. We had um, somebody pass away last night. And it's a foggy man of a 99, as you know. Big Tottenham fan, known him for many, many years. Drinks in the Oakwood, Leon C, South End. And lots of big group of lads, all in their 50s, 60s, or one of you. Uh, all good pals. Very good friend of his, Paul Collins, that was diagnosed with bowel cancer a few years ago. And he passed away last night. And Foggy is in bits. He really, really is. And what can I say? Just rest in peace, Paul Collins. He loved his sport. He was going to do a bit of a sport thing for uh, for Foggy for, for the for the show. So listen, this is Paul Collins, massive Man United fan. Loved his Harlequins rugby. I'm a Gloucester boy. Great team, Harlequins. And loves his cricket. We used to watch Essex play. Right, Essex. Uh, again, that's Wags's boys, isn't it? Essex always there or thereabouts in Division One, aren't they? So what I'm going to say. He's had it for three years. Cancer is a horrible thing. Just go and get things checked out. Whether you get your prostate and what have you. I've got to go, my, got to go do mine, to tell the truth. I do it every year. The last year, year before, I get a list of all the blood. and It's just time, in it? But I've got to make time. Next week or two, bump doctors, blood, check all the systems, make sure we're okay, and we're away. Very lucky at this moment in time I am. So, Paul Connors, rest in peace, big man. And all the love from Foggy and all the gang in the Oakwood down there in Leon C. Okay? top man right let's move on very very quickly let's go to a bit of, it's a bit of sports news but we're going to do this quick there's so many so much is happening over the weekend i've got lots of vlogs to pull out and this you know and with obviously the um the sponsored walk for next wednesday that's taking a lot of my time up let's go back to a bit of football the isthmian premier league my good pal ian allinson and his son lee lee obviously is the manager of hendon town football club now don't forget they're only sponsored they're, they're owned by the by the fans okay they all put a few quid in so they haven't got big big money to spend to buy players and if you check it out they only get two three four hundred at home every other week they do a fantastic job they really really do so he asked his daddy in a couple years ago to go down command and he's there on a part-time basis and last week they took on bowyers and pitsy lost one nil they were down to 10 men and it was the last 10 minutes they scored and to be honest with you ian said Hendon were on top. He could have scored, didn't score. They had a breakaway, scored, they lost 1 0. It is what it is. In midweek, this is what happened. Right, I've got it all down here. They took on Dulwich and Hamlet, who were about six in the league. Okay, took them on at home. What did they do? Smashed them 3 0. Fantastic. So, what a bit of a change around. So, one to Lee Allison on that one. Absolutely, dressing ring, sorted out. Bush, Hendon 3, Dulwich Hamlet now. And that now, 
won five, drawn four, lost four. And Dulwich won six, drew two, lost five. Similar. Hendon are eighth. Dulwich Hamlet are six. I think it's only Billericay, I think, are the only undefeated team in the league. And they're second at the moment. So, one well to Lee and Ian Allenson. Allenson, don't forget, ex Gillingham, legend, and Arsenal. 100 odd games for the Gunners. So, top man to Ian Allenson. Love you, big boy. Right. Before we hit the Lee Soulbox, he's got a few tips for tomorrow. They're top their facts, isn't he? I'm going to go very, very quickly over this Coventry City football. I haven't done an individual one. I just thought I'd just discuss it for a, just for a few seconds. Lost to Derby 2-1 after drawing with QPR 1-0 two weeks ago. Beat Luton 3-2 home after being 2-0 down. Cracking on game at the CBS. Uh, and then we went to Middlesbrough with my pal Kevin's team. And we beat them 3-0. Wasn't a big 3 0, but we beat them 3 0. Then we had Derby at home on Tuesday, lost 2 1, gave the ball away, give, the, give them the goal, really. They played all for first half, a bit better second half, and it wasn't to be. And Mark Robbins, who's been there seven years, one of the longest serving football managers in the league, with Guardiola in the Premier and Harrogate, who um, came up from the EFL Cup years ago, and uh, they were the top three, long standing. Mark Robbins, seven years he's been there. FA Cup for, you know, promotions. What else? Semi final, should be May United in that semi final. Just phenomenal. Lost in the uh, playoffs, didn't we? As well to Luton. It is what it is. And he's got the sack. Should he or should he not have gone? I don't know. Sometimes it is for a change. Anyway, cut on story short. Favourite two to one is Matt Bloomfield. Wickham Wanderers. Good, bad, or what? The top of the table. Just above Birmingham City, Dino, watch out for him. Are they going to win the league or is the Blue Nose going to win the league? We'll have to wait and see. So if he's the man for the job, good luck to him. So let's see what happens. So there was a, a my son Lee back home, big commentary fan. He sent me a lot of messages saying, why did he get the sack? Why did he get the sack? He shouldn't have. They should have kept him on a little bit longer. But listen, Mr. King, hopefully he knows what he's doing. So let's see what happens. So... Big game tomorrow, away to Sunderland, 3 o'clock kickoff. I'll be in here watching the game. Let's see what happens. And a big shout to Mac and Mick, my good pal. Okay, for tomorrow afternoon. Right, that's that. Let's go quickly over to the horse racing. Lee Solbert is, you know, big Leeds United fan. And he works for the Yorkshire Evening Post. Goes home and away on the coach, playing wherever. Does it all. Fantastic. Now, don't forget all these now are... Fancies, they're not tips, but he's doing well. If you've had a five or a ten on every single one, you'd be well up. We had a cracking winner, eleven to one two weeks ago. So that put us well in front. The last week, bit of a disaster, but it wasn't. Yet in each way, I'm well on the nose, come nowhere. So let's have a look what we got this week tomorrow afternoon. Now, he's actually picked. I think he's given us five, but he says, "Buddy, I cannot find you a nap." So take this down, get a pen and paper, and let's have a look. Doncaster. We're going to Doncaster. The 235. It's an Irish Raider. All right. Two stars in the 235. So that's, I think, deep down, listening between the lines, that could be his main one. Two stars, 235, Irish Raider. Now, staying at Doncaster, trainer Beckett. Okay. Absolutely flying at the moment. 120 at Donny. Zoom, zoom. He's gone for. And he's gone one in the two o'clock as well. Uh, P-R-I-A-P-O-S, I think it's Priapos, 2 o'clock at Doncaster. He's got another one in Doncaster. This will be number four. So have a little look, have a little round robin, have a bit of fun. 3.45, Valiano or Valcano, wrote it very, very quick. So have a look at that and see what you feel. Now, he's gone over the six now. He's got one at Wincanton. 3.30 at Wincanton. Tizards, flying at the moment, doing very, very well. It's called The Changing Man. Okay, that's the change of man, wing count in 3.30. And he said, Webby, the nap is very, very hard. So have a look. Five horses there, have a bit of fun. And don't forget, every time, as I tell you, you're under 18, do not gamble if you are under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Do not gamble. But don't take them in the first place, okay? Don't take drugs, don't take, you can have a drink. I'll go down to three horseshoes and Monte Cristo in a minute. To have a few bottles of wine as you do because the boss lets me out um right 
that's all your sport. Um, just very, very quickly, next Wednesday, don't forget, you know where we're starting from. Um, I'm not going to tell you because Wednesday afternoon, there's going to be a cracking vlog out. Did one with Tim, living with Emerson in Tenerife. I'm on Freaky Friday tonight, as you know, six o'clock. Come on, have a bit of fun. Send a few comments through. Or if you're in Cario, come down and say hello to us. Now, I've been down the front today, done a cracking video with Tim. He's going to put all the bits and pieces and all, you know, for fact, follow these cancer and television. So all my sponsors, 15 sponsors, and they've chucked in big money for cancer. For fact, Fighting Against Cancer in Tenerife, they've done a super job. He has to, we've got the drone and everything, so he's going to tidy it all up, make it good, because you know he's a professional, like me, dinosaur, it's all in my head. So basically, what's going on? Three, three, four o'clock in the afternoon, Sunday, we'll put the vlog out, and you've got to give all these people some love, because they've put their hand in their pocket for all the people over here that have cancer. Okay, whether they're dying with it, or they're on chemotherapy, radiotherapy, whether they've got terminal cancer, fat cracking association they look after them so don't forget sometimes sunday afternoon get ready for that vlog but that's it i'm done dusted i've waffled on too long it's a climber it's not too bad actually but talk, talking 30 degrees so all i'm going to say if you like what you see and you like what you hear what comes out of here yeah somebody's dog comes into us every day all you got to do is subscribe to webby sports rounder and it's there. All right. Subscribe for free. Cost you nothing. Have a little bit on the horses. Don't go mad. Have a bit of fun. Follow Hendon Football Club. Follow Foggy Facebook page. Webby Sports Runner. Give Foggy some love. He's not in a good place today. After his good, good pal, Paul Collins, passed away yesterday. Rest in peace, big man. And I will see you tomorrow. Got other vlog coming out. Believe me, mental, mental. And I'm working hard. I'll see you later. Webby Sports Roundup.